hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel today's just is on you and the adikoya and her husband thomas abiodo well these two went their separate ways earlier this year due to emotional abuse yes there are so many abstract things that one cannot put into words but are damaging and affecting one's relationship in most cases it is not just the physical abuse where people see the damages the wounds the bruises there are so many other abuses and emotional abuse is one of them and she had to move out of the house to her father's house saying she couldn't cope with someone who was manipulating her who is a narcissist and damaging her emotionally well her husband thomas celebrating his birthday in december has received a lot of wishes from friends and colleagues in the nollywood industry initially when this matter surfaced online about the one day adikoy and her husband going their separate ways because of emotional abuse so many of our colleagues that is you and this colleague also stood by her and of course had one or two things to say you and the even came after jigon baboja saying he is part of her husband's problem they are friends but jigon would not talk to her husband and let him understand that he should treat his wife well although people feel like it wasn't necessary and Digon has nothing to do with their marriage breakup if her husband cannot man up that's not up to Digon to help Digon cannot be the one trying to mold this grown man into the kind of husband you want just leave Digon out of this so ignoring her husband's birthday this year and of course taking to her social media page to say as at last year she didn't think that by the time of this year things will be the way they are but in all she's grateful and happy of course we all know that she's referring to none other than her husband and she decided to ignore his birthday admits her colleague celebrating her husband in so many lights and fashion well taking to her social media story she added a caption saying this time last year i would have never imagined everything would be how it is now so much has actually happened in 12 months thankful for it all god i return all the glory to you this was you one day sharing this on a social media page and her husband of course who celebrated his birthday took to his instagram page to share wonderful pictures of himself and added a caption celebrating himself saying happy birthday to me myself and i all i have to say is thank you god for all you have done for me so far i so much love me please thank god on my behalf well as much as you and the adikoya decided to ignore her husband birthday by not celebrating him or posting any picture it's possible they must have called each other wished each other well well she did something for her husband by allowing his kids his daughters to wish him a happy birthday sharing this on his social media page he said in his words and i quote thank you my darlings may god continue to bless and guide you throughout your lifetime hashtag abiodun treasure hashtag abiodun precious hashtag abiodun ye one day this was Thomas sharing this on a special day. Everyone went ahead to still celebrate with him, but some people took out time to bless you and the Abiodu for making this happen despite their differences. A user said, Regards to their mom, too, she made that video possible. Happy birthday and Merry Christmas. Another user said, Happy birthday, long life and prosperity, brother. This new year, the Lord will increase you on all sides in Jesus' name. And God bless their mommy for this. Another user said, This made my day. Happy birthday. May all your good wishes be granted. Wishing you all the best in life. This and several other messages were filled in the conversation of Mr. Abiodu. Well, only few women can actually still go out of their way and make things beautiful and worthwhile for their spouses after putting them through a lot of emotional damages speaking of emotional abuse you one day shared and said for 14 years i have been emotionally abused by him he talks to me anyhow i used to cry almost every day when we were together begging him to show me love begging him to treat me right to act responsible i was our financial backbone all through the years but i never for once complained i just wanted to grow up and act responsible honor our marriage he just wants to keep enjoying life and leave the serious part to me to handle 
he has different girls at the beginning of our relationship i was convinced he was faithful and then imagine my shock when i started seeing things that can drive an emotional woman mad i almost went mad though. thank god for god therapy and my family it broke me to pieces it hurts me because i was 100 percent loyal to him he took my virginity he was my first this was Yewande sharing in a chat with the popular blogger called Just Lover, and they both went their separate ways. And of course, there is nothing impossible for God, most especially when a relationship has children. It could be that they could get back together if Mr. Biadon decides to work on his own part. Well, guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.